Welcome everyone to this edition of Looking at Louisville. I'm Chaz. I'm Stacy. And we are here in the Butchertown area of Louisville, Kentucky, which is really just a stone's throw from downtown. But my question to you, Stacy, is why Butchertown? Where'd that name come from? Well, Chaz, uh, in the 1800s, this area was the hub of all meat processing uh, for Louisville. You know, the city dwellers uh, didn't live on farms, and this is the area that their meat came from. And it's kind of going through a renaissance right now, and what are we going to be doing in this episode exactly in that new area? Well, Chaz, we're going to hit a couple of spots. We're going to go to the Thomas Edison Museum. We're going to visit Hadley Pottery, um, one of the famous uh, pottery producers of Kentucky. And then we're going to do some shopping at Butchertown Market. And of course, we're going to go eat at the Blind Pig. And speaking of pigs, not... I mean, where would you eat in Butchertown? It's wonderful. It's been getting great reviews. I've been hearing a buzz about it, and I'm very excited about it. It's finally getting to go It's to a great spot. So. You're going to love it. Ladies first. All right, let's go. Well, we finally made it here to the Blind Pig, a new restaurant right here in the heart of Butchertown. It's got a great vibe, great ambiance, and it smells like... Smoke, in a good way. Yeah. They uh, house cure their meats here and smoke sausages. Um, I mean, it's just, it's delectable the minute you walk in the door. Yeah, it's a place that I've heard about, and with what's great about it, too, is it's got a great wine list, and it's got free Wi-Fi, and it's just got something I would like to bring my friends to. There's a, just kind of, it's one of these hidden jewels like you're in Soho in New York or something. You know, it's just, funny, but yeah, I was thinking the, the same thing. Or the meatpacking district, right? Which it is. <laughs> the heart of Butcher Town, <laughs> yes, right? It is. It's Louisville's meatpacking district. Now, let's, let's talk about what we had here for lunch. What do we have for uh, kicking off with appetizers? Well, we started with some appetizers. Uh, one of the few vegetable options here, um, but really great, the ratatouille. Um, put some, like, a wine sauce. It was excellent. And then the house-made, their version of pate, the pork roulettes. Uh, with some blue dog bread, a local artisan bakery here, and uh, some little pickles and olives, a great appetizer. And then I had the uh, the duck breast salad to eat for lunch, and that was wonderful. Uh, I've never had duck before, so I thought I'd take a challenge on myself, and it was really light, it was very filling, and it was very good. It looked good. I went a little more hearty today. I had the spicy chorizo sausage, again, made here on the premises on an artisan bread uh, with Swiss cheese and a really spicy Dijon mustard. It was excellent. Now, Mark, of course, you know, being that this is a, we're in Butchertown and it's a pork place, we, I'm sure he Mark got, what? He was in hog heaven. He ordered the ivory bacon, one of the mainstays on the lunch menu. It was, it's a house-made Baudin Blanc sausage, or white, with a, the extra bacon, a Munster cheese, and a garlic aioli on that. You know, everything was, was just right on, right on the money. It was. And you know that they talked about the craft cocktails that they make here. They house make their own bitters. I'm anxious to try that the next time. And we closed it off with the dessert, which was a chocolate oh, creme brulee. It was excellent. It was really almost a dark chocolate. And the next time, they didn't have it today, but I want to come, come back and try the uh, butter pecan ice cream with bacon. So what are we going to go do next? We're going to go do some shopping in Butchertown Market. Of course, shopping. We we've, we've always got to satisfy that need for you, right? That's right. All right. Well, That's let's right. do it. Let's go.
about you, but I have had a blast exploring the very historic yet also very happening neighborhood of Butchertown here in downtown Louisville. True, there's so many things happening down here now, especially with the revitalization of this building, which is the Butchertown Market, where there's lots of great places to shop. In fact, there's Moss Hill, mm -hmm. we got Work the Metal, we've got, in fact, we're here in Cellar Door Chocolates. It's an amazing uh, new uh, chocolate store here that moved from Bardstown Road, which is also very happening, but what a great addition to this neighborhood. Chocolates, hot chocolate bar, espresso, uh, what a, a great place to end our podcast. And for more information about any of this episode, especially the, the great place we ate, Blind Pig, mm -hmm. you can find it at GoToLobo.com or you can find us in Facebook and in Twitter. But before we go, I think we need to give a little goodbye with eating mm -hmm. one of our chocolates here. That's right. So as always, you're looking at Louisville. See you real soon. Get, yeah, speaking of professionals, Mark. <laughs> There's our blue. Here we go. Three, two, one.